What's up guys? Uh, today we're gonna give you guys a little insight into what um, it's like to harvest tomatoes. I'm gonna walk you through the harvester. Uh, we're gonna send the GoPro through the harvester so you get to see uh, how delicate it actually is. And hopefully it doesn't ruin the GoPro. But we're gonna show you all the different steps. I'm gonna have Dan come run our machine and uh, I'll kind of go out through the machine and show you how it works. Um, right now I'm just sitting in the cab. Right now it's a John Deere 8245R and uh, my harvester is a pick right. It's made in Pennsylvania and uh, we're picking tomatoes for uh, the greatest company on earth, Red Gold. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks uh, for watching. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Check us out on Instagram, Farm to Live. And uh, you can check us out on Facebook at Rice Farms too. So um, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, should should be a good day. All right, so we're walking up on the, the harvester running. Dan's running at the moment. It's Jeff there uh, catching beside. So uh, it's gonna get noisy. So we're gonna just walk through and show you how the tomatoes get dug under the ground and uh, end up in the trailer. So uh, follow up. All right, so this pick right 190 is pulled by a John Deere tractor. Uh, everything is controlled, all the functions are controlled with that little box right there. It's an electric over hydraulic control box. Up there we have some flow controls that control some speeds of certain things. And then over there we have the two monitors that watch what's going on and can be adjusted on the fly of the two electronic sorters. The only big disadvantage of a pool type tomato harvester is you have to turn around the whole time. So uh, the neck gets sore after four or 500 hours every fall. So, but anyway, the brains of the machine are kind of all in here. Uh, the cutting depth's adjusted uh, by some of these controls. And then it has a little wheel there that you see running across the ground, it's like a spider wheel. It control or watches the depth. And then uh, we set the, what we're wanting to cut in here from uh, this little dial right there. And so that, we can turn that on, and that's an auto header height, kind of like what you uh, other farmers have on combine. But that pretty much walks you through the controls in here. The tractor is auto steered by RTK. It's controlled through the Gen 4 on this tractor. And this one has an IVT transmission that allows us to uh, go anywhere from about zero to 26 and anywhere in between. So it works great for this when we're adjusting our speeds uh, quite often. So. by disc blades underneath the ground at the root level. The whole plant goes up that, what we call um, the header chain, that incline there. At the top of there, there's a brush that counter rotates with weights. You saw the video there, it shakes them off. The tomatoes actually fall through that and they end up going to another chain that takes them to the other, we call that the rear cross. It takes them to the other side of the machine, goes up the incline and then it starts getting sorted by the electronics and then uh, finally the people kind of sort whatever's left but that's pretty much what the machine does we're done picking for the day uh, so the machine's actually off so i can really actually show you all the little steps that it goes through so first off the tomatoes get cut by those discs 
Uh, underneath the dirt, they cut the roots, those gathering belts on either side, bring the tomatoes in. They hit this, it's called a header chain. This one above it, it's called a vine assist chain. So the tomatoes travel up here, and then they hit this first shaker brush. You can see that, all the little fingers everywhere. And it has a counter rotating weight box underneath that tarp there. We'll walk here and show you. So there's the brush. And if you look down in the chamber here, you can see bigger chain where tomatoes fall through then smaller chain that catches them and dumps them out on that, which is called a rear cross. And that is the, the back brush, it's called the secondary. It shakes off some of the leftovers that we call hitchhikers, um, that the primary brush right here doesn't quite get. So then once uh, tomatoes all fall off the vines, the vines get carried out the back. And uh, I'll climb down here a second. Um, yeah, you can see here what a shaker weight box looks like. That's a smaller one than the, first, the front one, but um, it has weights that spin on that. Inside the, those little boxes, as it rotates, so it has a counter movement back and forth that helps shake the tomatoes. So anyway, once they hit that, they, uh, the vines go out the back and get chopped. And then right here is a fan, intake to the fan. It blows trash out this area here through this gap. Tomatoes, the tomatoes actually fall uh, from that chain that we call the rear cross to this elevation chain, we call it. And as they fall there, that gap there, the air, air goes over there pretty fast and blows trash out. So once that happens, they come up this, this incline here and they drop on what we call a pre-sort belt right there that's set at a, a certain speed so that it can fall in front of the electronics here which uh, you should be able to see the fingers to the electronics so that's the first one it's set a little bit milder just to get mainly green some dirt then it falls to this one same thing and this this one is actually set tighter for color so that way we can uh, fine-tune the load and get more of a red look and then here's the sorting table where we have a few personnel that ride on either side and uh, kick some stuff out. But then it hits the elevator here with these paddles. It's on the ground right now because we don't like to leave it in the air overnight. Um, it's on the ground, but uh, from there, just uh, heads to the semi trailer. So that's that's pretty much a walkthrough of the machine and what it does. It's uh, quite the contraption that does a pretty awesome job. Um, here's the back end. See the vine chain there and the chopper down in there um, you can see it's a little messy at the moment we haven't cleaned it yet for the end of the day uh, every day we kind of go through and clean a bunch of stuff and look for maintenance but you see here there's just a bunch of rollers and and uh, bearings and things like that these spin back and forth like so uh, there's a couple of those that knock dirt out so it bounces the chain up and down same there and then there's one under there too but that's pretty much it. eaten by the harvester now for the most important thing in just a matter of hours this load right here is going to turn into products just like that some of the best tasting most awesome tomato products in the country in the world I think for that matter but anyway so what do you need to do you need to subscribe to our channel 
need to hit us up on Instagram at Farm to Live. Check us out on Facebook at Rice Farms. And most importantly, buy the American owned, grown, and made tomato products. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please uh, like it, share it, do whatever you want with it, and uh, show people what it's really like. So until next time, peace out.